that silver nesta. And that's her brother Merle. Merle is up from Illinois. Him and John came up. We're hiking the high country right now. <laughs> what is Merle? Three? Three. Yeah, it's over over Merle. Three. He's a stud dog, that boy. Off leash warrior. Total rock star. <laughs> three years ago before uh, well, when Merle was uh, eight, eight, eight weeks eight weeks when we hiked up here yeah. and then you come back at 12 and got him 16 16 yeah yeah the Desna which is well worth it yeah and uh, it, it was Jaeger and uh, Silver uh, Nova uh, so, uh, Silver Nessa the first litter for Nessa Nova. Nova, Nova, when I say Nova. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there was. Merle, Merle, Merle. And, uh, it was unbelievable. We took him, my brother and I came up uh, to get him, and, uh, back in the uh, Illinois, and, uh, he's, he's been a joy. He's, he's really fantastic. His off leash skill, I can take him out anywhere. And I don't worry about losing him. I don't worry about having him run off. I know where his range is. It's about it. well, it's a little flat, so about 100 yards, maybe 90 yards. Then he comes right back. And then he'll least off maybe half that, 50 yards. But I always know he checks back. He usually comes back and sits on my foot or nudges my foot, tell me, hey, I'm here. Pet me. And then he shoots off again. Uh, he moves like you wouldn't believe. It, his nose works. Uh, you know, he's all the time going after possums, rabbits, squ uh, squirrels. Oh, God, does he hate the squirrels. And uh, he'll be barking, barking, barking at them all day long. You know, he's just fantastic. Merv did a great job pairing them and setting them up and bringing, uh, bringing that, uh, that outcross blood into the to the breeding program, and, and then with Jaeger coming right back in, bringing uh, Dakota's blood in there, uh, it's just, I couldn't ask for a better dog. I really, I couldn't ask for a better dog. You know, he, I've gone across the country with him now a couple times, more than a couple times, and uh, he's no problem in the car. Hotels, uh, he, he's, not a, he's not an apartment dog. He's, he's never, you know, never, he's always been a home dog. So the hotels and stuff at first were a bit of a challenge, staying in the hotel every time somebody would come by walking down, he'd hear them, he'd let, let out a growl. Uh, you know, that's the, the great thing about a, a mature dog, though, and, and even at 16 weeks when we were taking a bag, staying in Idaho and South Dakota and stuff, he, in hotels, he would uh, never peep out of them, never, uh, never a problem, great sleeper. He's a real easy, as, as Merv would say, an easy keeper with the food. Uh, maybe a uh, half a pound uh, to a pound a day. Pound and a half if we're working hard or it's real cold outside. Uh, we feed raw. If you're if you're in the in the states, I don't know about Canada, uh, but in the states we use. Uh, uh, this isn't a plug. It's just uh, it took me forever uh, to figure out the best routine I had uh, to get. Uh, we feed raw, they're on the line in my pet carnivore. Uh, they ship right to the house and it was it, they're real it, they're real good. You get it in two days usually, uh, FedEx. And uh, he took to that no problem. He can eat he can eat anything. Um, he's just a wonderful dog, man. <laughs> just a just a well, just, he just is a good dog. wonderful dog and and I, I've had him, I, I was joking with Merv, I had him, uh, had him one day, we were down, at, uh, down in Chicago in, in the heart of the loop, and a week later we were out in the middle of nowhere, out towards 
Northwoods, Iowa, in the cornfields, and, uh, uh, you know, he one way on, one way that way, and then he adapts right away the next week to no problem. Uh, he's just a wonderful, wonderful dog. Uh, so so polite. I get so many compliments from people on the street, everywhere. He's are sitting outside somewhere. And we're all sitting there. He's usually sitting on my foot. Uh, and uh, my father, who's almost 80, uh, Mo can, he'll, he can, Mo will walk with him on lead. No problem, no pulling. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful thing. And he's, uh, I couldn't ask for a better dog. <laughs> Nessa, come here. Nessa, come by me. <laughs> well, he, you've done such a good job with this job. He's so, he's perfect condition, perfect shape. His manners are good. I mean, they're impeccable. Nessa, come here. And uh, he just is such a great guy to hike with. Oh, my God. So we've been up and all around up here, and we were up here yesterday, and we've just been having a fun time with these two. And it only took them a second or two to uh, to get back in the groove, because I used to run these two together all the time when uh, we were doing the Desna. You come and sit up front here, boy. Come on, come on. Come by me. That's my good boy. Oh, that's a good job. Yeah. You're such a good boy. I can't do it. I can't do it. I've seen everything. You're so happy. You're such a good boy. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. 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 Come here, sir. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a bit of a prima donna, though. He likes to be petted. <laughs> oh, he, uh, I go to the vet with him. Everything checks out. No problem. They, nothing but compliments. Uh, his, his, how, how his mannerisms are, his stance. People that have had L counts that uh, we run into, uh, uh, they'll, that's a fine, fine elk count, look at the coat on him, how tight it is, he's a very clean dog, uh, and when I say clean, I mean obsessively clean, uh, never any mess with him, uh, he's, just, he's just really a wonderful, wonderful dog, uh, he's, as he's matured, it's just wonderful to see how he's, uh, how he's just grown into everything and adapted, and, uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah, I'm very, very happy. Very happy. Well, I'm happy you've done such a good job with him. You're a great handler, and he's turned out so well. So John and I, we figure we'll probably take a litter out of him. We're, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, hook him up with uh, Varja, and that's about a year from now. We'll probably do that. Uh, I'm just going to check. Uh, Turn my camera a little bit here. Well, come here. There was absolutely no friction, like Murph said. Nessa and him they had it all straightened out, literally blink of an eye. Uh, riding, you know, riding back of the truck, everything. It's, it's. Uh, Nessa. Couldn't ask for a better, better setup. And see it, seeing how, uh, seeing how Nessa matured out, filled out and everything, and, and it's just, it's wonderful. And it's wonderful that Merv does this, puts the program, puts the time and energy and money into the program, uh, building this out. And, and I'm forever indebted to him. I know my family that all shares it with my brother, my brother and my parents, like I said, I.
and Silver Nova. And uh, the, that genetic is a very good urban genetic. It's a GQ dog. So you can, like John said, you can be downtown in the next minute treeing a bear. And this is, this is perfect. So where we were hiking earlier, sure enough, we got to see a little sow and two cubs, fat little cubs, and everything was just fine, and they're checking our trail for us all the time. We've been having a great day, and we had a great day yesterday. We were over on the rim trail yesterday. We had a real good hike there, and we were on the bear trail before that. And they were excellent there. And uh, today we're up, we're up high, but we, it was so windy out on the peaks. We came in by the water, and it's a lot better in here. And I think what we'll uh, we'll see out of out of uh, him and Varja is some incredible pups because this this Jaeger genetic is uh, is, a, is a phenomenal pup. So social, so polite with people, and and and, and I, he's, he's, when I need him to be, and, and he figures it out, he figures out his his way, and he's, he's I'm I'm just so happy. I don't have a, a, a negative to say about him. And it's just a wonderful dog, and, and uh, I uh, I'm really happy to have him. Well, it's really good for me to see him back here. And to watch him as a, as a mature male, you know, he's still intact and he's able to just work like it's magic, like he's an amazing off his dog. He's, he's so skilled. And he does such a great job to, to develop him and, and on his own. It's just a, a pleasure, just a dream to behold. And then, of course, having Silver Nessa out here with him is, a, is really, really nice. Like, uh, the, you know, the siblings, when they get together, they think alike, they act alike, they heck, they even run alike. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you, if it was getting dusk out, you'd hardly be able to tell them apart. They're very close. He's, uh, and he's, uh, he's really done well. Yeah, so that's that's a wonderful dog. You've done such a great job with him. But yeah, you, you deserve the credit there, boy. You did good work. Now, when you got him, uh, you were doing a little camping right off the bat to build that bond. Yeah, we would say we'd go out in the fields with them, we'd sit with them. That's that's how you do it. You, you trust them. I mean, everybody I tell them exactly what we do, they think I was nuts. You know, taking a taking a. 20 week old or is 15 week old or 17 week old uh, dog uh, uh, in, in you know letting them off leash in a, in a large forest preserve or field or park you know anything uh, and uh, don't think of nothing I said look he's going to come back I have confidence, you know, confidence in him those words he's exactly what to do he's set up for that 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 last 8 weeks 8 to 16 weeks and he has the focus he knows who's built that bond I was, te I was teasing my, my uh, brother uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday, I said, well, he's going to be so happy to be here, he's not going to want to come back, you know, running around with him, all the dogs here, jokingly, but there's no, he was he's, he was sitting on my foot as soon as we got in the door last night, uh, there was no uh, no doubt in my mind about it, he's my dog, and, and uh, he's a, uh, he, he built the bond when they're small, you work with them, you play with them, you know, and you get down Kind of let them get to know each other, feel them out, and uh, I, you know, I mean, I, I, there's no, there's no way this dog's leaving me. And uh, uh, Merv and I were, we had him in the yard, and as soon as he, I lost sight of him for 
you know, 20 minutes or so. I was having a cup of coffee uh, yesterday, and he the bark and the bark and bark, and I just took my hat off, put it up, he saw my arm, and he knew exactly why I was here. I hadn't left him because, you know, the bond is built, and it's set. And he's, he's, it's a lifetime bond, and, and I'm, I'm very happy with him. He's, he's a wonderful, wonderful dog, one of a kind for me. And he took took the Merv right away, like there was no no tomorrow. Merv's handling them, there's no problem, and because uh, it all just clicks. I joke with Merv. I, I said if, if I'm going out or I need to to uh, keep him occupied for a bit, especially on hot days or something, we'll uh, we'll take the YouTube uh, uh, and just put it on shuffle of, the, of Merv's channel of this channel, and uh, just let it play. And the tone, Merv's commands, Merv's voice, and, and on the on the, the big screen, Merv will be just sitting there watching. If the, the pups are, are whining, he'll give a low little growl, or if they're barking, he'll start barking. Or you know, if Merv's saying by me, you can see the tail going up and stuff like that. It's uh, the tone; it never left them. It's, it's amazing, and, and, it, and, and it's and it's an occupier for him. He figures him out, and it, it's it's funny to watch him react to these stuff. That's Yes. Uh, yeah, we had fun. Well, <laughs> and uh, how? Talk a little bit about taking the pup and driving right away to build that bond. So, yeah, I couldn't imagine flying them. I know there's some instances where you have to. With that, that four days or five, right? It took us five days. Uh, we did it nice and easy. Slow driving, spent a lot of time with them. Uh, we sit in the back seat most of the time. Uh, my brother driving when uh, he graciously took time off work to give me a hand getting back. And uh, uh, sitting there and letting him chill on you, get used to you, get used to your vehicle, uh, which has your smells, and, and it set him off. And now he, and then he's driving, lays out in the back seat of my, my forerunner, and he's, it's ready to go there's no uh once once you, you get them old enough where you can feed them still feed them in the mornings uh we, we didn't feed them traveling not during the day we feed them at night uh because we didn't want to risk the car sickness when we was young now it's 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 no problem he's, he's great and he just built he got used to me just laying on me he put his head on me he got used to my smell got used to everything because so there's a lot of confusion Shirts that I had worn when we were out hiking that I had sweated in and got smelling, uh, you know, smelled like me. And Merv left it with Merle when he was that last week or whatever uh, of training uh, to try and get him accustomed. And it, it took us right away, took me right away. And now there's no, the, the bond you build, just the time when you get him, the first time period, I think it, it cements everything in. It lets you know, lets him know this is home now, this is home. And it's it's a wonderful experience, and then it eased them into the house. Uh, um, the funniest thing was getting them. Uh, we spent the night in uh, Idaho in a hotel, and the uh, the he had uh, never uh, the carpet. He had never seen carpet, uh, large wall-to-wall -wall carpeting of any substance, and it just his look like what what kind of surface am I on? Now he loves carpeting, uh, but uh, uh, it, it, it's it's funny. And then another, uh, uh, when you come out of the shower uh, with the steam, if you had steam on in the shower, if he was by the door, just watching his reaction, like uh, just of, of that, or uh, seeing himself in the mirror, the wall-to-wall -wall mirrors that they have. Uh, uh, he was barking at it. He was, he was a young, a young pup. I, I have a video of it. It's, it's, it's just priceless. It's, it's, it's funny. It's funny. I mean, he's just, just build your bond with your dog.
You got a minute or so left there, John. Yeah, I mean, they're just healthy, and, and his teeth, his tails, his ears, everything are, are, are feet. The feet are tucked in, ready to go. They're, they're just wonderful when you pick them up at that 16-week mark, and and uh, uh, very healthy. And I, I'm, I'm just forever happy that he's, he's my dog, and, and I, I thank Merv and, and, and again, and, and just feel wonderful, wonderful, wonderful dog. Well, thank you, John, for sharing all that stuff. That's terrific, and I'm so happy you came up and let me work with him and see him run and uh, work with you and watch you with him. It's a, it's a pleasure. It's a dream. Thank you. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool.